There are a couple of saints named Augustine, and today we're celebrating the one who, in the year 598, landed with a group of missionary monks on the shores of England. King Ethelbert met him, and fearing his magic, would only speak to him outside because everyone at the time knew that magic spells only work indoors. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and King Ethelbert didn't need to be afraid of St. Augustine of Canterbury's magic. He wasn't a sorcerer with magic spells that could harm people. He was a servant of the gospel who came to bring a power greater than any the king had ever seen. It was the power of the true God, the power that overcame death in the resurrection of Jesus, the power that set the world on fire with love through the Holy Spirit. Here's what St. Augustine said to the king. Your everlasting peace, O king, and that of your kingdom, is the object we desire to promote in coming here. We bring you news of never-ending joy. Do not regard us as superstitious, because we have been at pains to come from Rome to your dominions for the sake of your salvation and that of your subjects. Be assured that only a great love constrains us to do this. For we long, beyond all the desires and glory of the world, to have as many fellow citizens with us as we can in the kingdom of God. King Ethelbert was persuaded by these words and allowed the missionaries to preach, and within a very short time, the king and thousands of his subjects were baptized. And the lesson for us? Don't ever doubt the power of the gospel and the Holy Spirit.